Hello guys and welcome to DTWGD Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, uh, I'm going to be taking you through percentages and this is a uh, part of the GED Maths Crash Course. Okay, I started from your ratio rates, proportion, now percentages, you know, I'm taking the subjects you know, as they align. Okay, so we're going to be looking at percentages. I have, um, you know, practice um, GED styled exam questions here. We have word problems here also, which we're going to look together. Okay, um, if this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, help us grow. And also you can check our website, dtwgdprep.com for summary notes, study guides, practice questions are there for free. And um, you can also join our Facebook group. We are over 10,000 in the community. You know, if you need support in your state or any GED support you need for your maths, science, RLA, you can join the group to get um, information there. All right. Also, I do one-on-one -on -one math tutorial. If you're interested, you can contact me. I'll leave all the links in the video description box, my email. Every link, link to the Facebook group, all links, even to the summary notes, the study guides, I'll leave them um, in the video description box and every other resources I um, that would help you. Okay, so going to today's class is, is um, on percentages. So percentages, you just need to know this formula for any percentage problem. And uh, by really, really mastering this formula is knowing what the part is, what the whole is. The percent is always easy. It's a number with the percent. That's what it is. Okay, so for any type of percent problems you encounter this formula it's like a proportion uh, formula okay that you you use okay so you need to identify what the part is what the whole is okay and as i said percent is easy the number of the percent is a percent okay it's either called percent or rate all right the part uh, whole is either called a bit the base so there are you know different textbooks with their different names they call um, used for this formula all right, so for an example now, when, you, when you're giving the statement, it says 30 is 60% of what number? 30 is 60% of what number? Are you seeing this? 30 is 60% of what number? From here, 60% is the, is the percent here. Then 30 is the part of what number means there's a whole, there's a number which is bigger than 30. That is the whole number. Okay, so here the proportion from this statement here is 30. We're looking for the whole number, which is what X. So whatever unknown you're looking for, you make it what X. Okay, so you set up the ratio and let X represent the unknown. All right, so here this will be equal to what our percent is 60 over 100. So from here, if you watch um, the video on proportion, I've done this. All right, so what you do is just cross multiply. To get x so you cross multiply this cross multiply this so this becomes what 100 times 30 that will give us uh, 3000 right equal to x times 60 that will give us 60x now to get our x all we need to do is divide both sides by 60 so this zero will cancel the zero six would go in 30 five times then you have the zero here so you have 50. you can always use your gd calculator for percent problems okay they are not um, you know in the gd test there's a non um, calculator section and there's a calculator section for percentages it always falls in the calculator section so you can use this for these bigger divisions okay so here this would cancel x is equal to what 50. so the what number the whole number is what 50. do you get me now let's do another several examples, okay, here. Here says what percent of 60 is 15? Okay, so we have to identify. Now you can see that what percent, we're looking for percent. So we write our formula part of our whole equal to what percent, let me abbreviate this, over 100. So we're looking for percent. So this will be what x over 100. What is our part? What, uh, what percent of 60 is 15? Our part is what 15, okay? Over our whole is 60. Now get the statement, it says 
what percent of 60? So 60 is the main number, then E is 15. So it's 15 is the part. Okay, so here we cross multiply. So that's 150. This will multiply this. It's, that's 1500 equal to 60x. So here we divide by 60, divide by 60. And um, this will give us x is equal to 25. Remember, it's percent we're looking for, so 25%. Do you see that? Okay, now let's try this. Now this says, find 45% of $10.80. Uh, $10 so from here, we already know our percent is 45 over 100. Find 45% of this. So it means this is what? The whole. So $10.80 is the whole. Okay, we're looking for the part which will give us, which will be what X. We cross multiply. All right, so we have 100X equal to 45 times this. If you punch in your calculator, you should get a 4, uh, uh, 4, 8, 6. Okay, so we divide by 100, divide by 100, and this will give us x is equal to, um, you know it's in dollars, okay, so we have 4.86. Sometimes they might tell you approximate to the nearest um, um, nearest dollar. The question can say approximate to the nearest dollar. So we don't need the cent. So it means we, this is 8 here, so we can add 1 here, and this becomes what, $5, okay? Okay? Always make sure you understand them, um, you know, approximation, okay? All right, so let me clear this place. So we can solve the rest quickly, okay? I don't want this video to be long. This says 35% of what amount is this? 35% of what amount is this? What amount means the whole. Okay, we're looking for the whole here. All right, and this is the part. All right, so here we have this as what our part is uh, $57.50. Uh, We're looking for our whole. We know our percent as 35 over 100. Cross multiply. What do we have? This times this would give us, um, let's be fast here. If you punch in our calculator, it should give you 15,750. And this is 35x divided by 35. Divide by 35. This will cancel. Punch in your calculator. You should get X as what? $450. Okay? So 35% of $450 would is, is what? This amount. Okay? $157.50. Now, let's look at this. Oh, my eraser, sorry. This says 40% is is what sorry 40 is what percent of 16 now look at this closely that's why i i made sure we have to have a question like this 40 is what percent of 16 now you might be confused and go and pick 40 as your whole no 40 is not the whole it says 40 is what percent of 16 here it means 16 is the whole now in most in, in, it's not in all question that the bigger number is the whole all right that's why you have to read and understand understand it you can see from here it says what percent of 60 is 15. i say what percent of 16. all right this was uh um, you can see if you see these two questions they are quite similar, but reversed a bit. Okay, so here it says 40 is what percent of 16? All right, so 40 is what percent of 16? So 16 is the whole. Why 40 is the part? So we have 40 over what? 16 equal to, we're looking for percent, X over 100. You will see that this percentage will be higher. All right, so here we cross multiply. This will be what, 4,000 equal to 16x divided by 16, divided by 16. 
4,000 divided by 16 will give us what? 250. So we have x equal to 250 what? Percent. All right. So 40 is 250 percent of 16. All right. So this is the answer for this. Now, let's look at these word problems here quickly. Now, this word problem says, a t-shirt with an original price of $35 is on sale for 20% off. How much would you save by buying it on sale? So here you have to identify what the part is, what the whole is. Don't be confused about the sale or, or discount or mm, just you see a percent problem, try to resolve it the way you resolve well with the formula here. Okay, so uh, from here, t-shirt with an original price. Original price is the whole, right? So it's on sale for 20% of how much would you save by buying it on sale? So it means we're looking for the parts. We know the percent, all right? So 35 is the whole. X uh, percent here is what? 20 over 100. Cross multiply, we have 100X equal to... Oh, that give us um, 35 times um, 20 will give us 700, all right? So we divide by 100, divide by 100. X is equal to what? 7, what? 7, right? So $7. So you would have saved what? $7 by buying it at this particular off-sale price, okay? At, um, uh, at this particular percent um that it's on sale for okay so that's how much you would have saved okay so you save what seven dollars all right from the 35 dollars okay now this other word problem says jane earns this per month if 2.5 percent of her earnings go to state income tax how much does she pay every month in state income tax she earns this. So this is a whole per month. Now, if 2.5% of our earnings goes to the state, so the percent is what 2.5. So we're looking for the part, right? So part is X over our whole 314 equal to 2.5 over 100. Cross multiply, we have 100X. When you punch in your calculator using your GED calculator, you have what three 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 uh, three three six zero so we divide by hundred divide by hundred so we have x is equal to this is going to be in dollars all right s is dividing this by hundred we're going to have thirty three point six so each month all right how much does she pay every month in income tax so each month she's going to pay what thirty three dollars six cents you can see how easy that is. So don't let, um, you know, all these big words like income tax, when you see discount, when you see sale, mm -mm, don't let it uh, confuse you or making you unsettled. Just apply the percentage formula. Okay, you can see we've done several questions here. All right, so thank you for staying tuned to um, the end of this video. And also don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last, and you know, give you that life here that you desire, which is heaven on earth. Okay, because Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in on earth as it is in heaven. He would make it happen here. Okay, until even till we get to eternity. So He's waiting for you. He's coming very soon. And all you need to do is just accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And, you know, repent from any wrong ways or wrongdoings. And he would be your guide. All right, so thank you. i see you in our next video. Don't forget to share, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Thank you and see you soon.